What's going on my long wing bald ducks? Today we're going on a driving adventure. Shit does not go as planned, so stay tuned for an unexpected twist. Good work, team. High five, tips. Boop. Boop. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Mwah. See ya. Where's that other guy? Mwah. He's just in a hole. <laughs> We're gonna head 30 minutes south and uh, meet up at a rest stop and then I'm gonna hand her the cats. If you can see it out in the distance, there's a lot more topography than there has been most of this trip. Zog's interested. For the next two days, there's 20 to 30 mile an hour wind, so I think at this rest stop that I'm about to pull up to, one, I gotta pee. Two, uh, we're gonna look for a place in between here and Albuquerque to post up at um, for a day or two because driving south into 20, 30 mile an hour winds, I'll be able to barely go 50 miles an hour. It's really tough on the truck, high RPMs, just running it really hard. Um, when we're not in pressure to get somewhere on time, uh, I just don't see the need to do it. We're, we're right here and we're going down this line and you can see all the wind is just kicking right at this road. So it's either hitting us from the front corner or just basically straight on. Right now it's 17 miles an hour where we're at, but it looks way more intense um, right here where we're going. Not really sure what to do right now. Uh, I'm gonna wait for KB and then uh, see what she thinks. I don't know if this can show it, but it's windy out. I was getting a little extra gas too. Cause on these windy days, uh, I think I'm only getting maybe a couple miles to the gallon, sadly. What's going on, girl? So the winds were so bad, we just decided to pull over for two nights and hang out. Keep going hard that way, and then go hard the other way, and you'll end up parallel with this pickup. Now go the other way. Now you're gonna end up closer here now. Keep coming. I don't think this is gonna work. Well, I guess. I guess they could get through. Watch me. Stop. What do you think, buddy? You gonna go out there tonight? <laughs> this is so nice we have this girl. This is a tomato. Um, this is a pepper, and this is an onion. Those are vegetables, and uh, we're eating them. <laughs> so we're making some good wraps right now, and uh, we're eating healthy for once. Mm. Let me give you a little tour of what's going on here. So we have the two pickups that are parked next to each other. This is our campsite, I guess, for the night. We were a little worried about the slides coming out because we got the trees right here. It looks like it cleared it perfectly. We just lined up this post here and that post over there and it fit right in between. We've got a water hookup here and then our electric hookup here. 
In here we have our hangout area, which is pretty cool. It's nice and covered. We're gonna string some lights up in here because we're gonna be in here for two days. Uh, there's a super sick lake over here, so we're gonna be going on some fishing adventures for sure and hiking the shorelines because these shorelines are absolutely intense, rugged rocks. What's going on my long wing bald ducks? We're gonna throw everything that just happened away and we're going on a fishing adventure. If there's a couple of things I really recommend, I highly recommend uh, these telescopic rods that you can find on Amazon. I think they're about 45 bucks for the whole combo. They're cheap, but you don't have to worry if they break and stuff. You can get them in different lengths, like eight feet, six feet, five feet. This is an eight footer, I believe. I got this for like ocean fishing on the beach because I wanted a longer rod to cast farther. But I would definitely recommend if I was like hiking, backpacking, or doing lake fishing, probably get like a five, five and a half and just get something smaller. That way when you're like casting around trees and stuff, you don't have eight feet of swinging this pole around. Um, another one for like sharpening knives orange ninja uh it has three different like a coarse medium and fine usually there's two or there's just one on like the fishing fillet knife ones and then also it has it has an angle adjust which is really good so like for kitchen knives you want to be i think towards like a 12 degree and then for something like the buck 110 you want to be more at like a 21 or a 24 and it i don't know if you can see it Let's see it changes all of the angles so all three of them change that one's all the way down that one's all the way up you can beat it around it's got like a a sticky bottom so like i'm pushing pretty hard and it sticks right there so when you're actually running it and it has these arrows you just run it right through the course uh with the buck 110 this thing was aft up so i've been just running it through the course over and over again and what you're looking for is to get you probably can't see it on here but you right here at the bottom you there's like a millimeter or two you want to get a nice edge and you want to run it through over and over again until you see like a really defined um, it'll be shinier than the rest of the blade, a really defined edge right there. But until it runs through the course smoothly, just keep running it through course. And then once it gets really smooth, because there might be a lot of nicks or abrasions, uh, then you run it through the medium. That'll take off some of the fraying and just sharpen it up a little bit more. And then run it through the fine. You don't have to push hard, you just kind of run it through and you'll feel it start cleaning up each stroke will get easier and easier and smoother and soother. So buck 110, I definitely uh, recommend going into the woods and getting drunk and finding a buck 110. I highly re recommend this uh, orange ninja. And then dude, get one of these, get a couple of these. These things are sick. I mean, look at this. This is as big as my forearm. That's insane. And it goes all the way out to eight feet. You can break these things and just go buy a new one. Who cares? Uh, so let's get out fishing. We're facing a pretty big drop off here. We're going to have to be careful too, because there's different things like scorpions and snakes, I'm guessing. So I, I don't know how prevalent they are, but I don't know when you're out for the first time, probably be aware. Oh. Definitely very different landscape than I'm used to. But I love walking on rocks and stuff. There's something about just walking around, climbing on rocks that are a lot of fun. I wasn't having much luck fishing, so I'm walking to a new spot. I saw a point that I wanted to make my way to. The only thing right now that I'm missing is probably a shot of tequila, a lime, and a little salt. Can somebody of geology tell me what's going on here? 
Did it like, all right, here's my guess. It goes down into the earth. It starts melting. This has a higher melting point than the other rock around it. it solidified around it. And then it moved back up and it finally got to the surface. Oh, that's pretty cool though. Those are just rocks just shaved, shaved. And there's a nice shiny one right here. I saw something out in the distance that caught my eye. I quickly realized it was my wife. So I sent out the drone to go get some sick action shots of her jumping over crevasses. She uh, killed this mission. Some of them are 20 to 30 feet deep, which are pretty insane. And like I said, there ain't nothing like a day of climbing on rocks. The wind just died down a lot. So just pitching lures right out here to see if anything's sitting here. I've been throwing probably 200 casts and just nothing. I've seen fish, but I haven't caught any. Man, check that sunset out. That's pretty dope. I haven't caught a fish yet, but that's why they call it fishing and not catching. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> oh, Kelsey just put her head down. That was a pretty bad dad joke, but man, New Mexico is beautiful. The landscape here is just amazing. Uh, they say you should uh, tell people how you feel so that they can connect with you. Um, I don't feel too much out here. I just do a lot. It kind of is what it is, and I have a lot of fun, but uh, I don't know. pretty happy right now. <laughs> feel good. <laughs> I feel like I like that sunset. Uh, I feel like I don't have to pee, which is really rare today. Uh, I feel like I want to catch a fish. Um, so let's keep casting. Oh, these mosquitoes. You gotta be kidding me. I gotta get back. I'm hungry. I want some liquor. I really want some liquor. I haven't even drinking today. What am I doing? All right, everyone, uh, sun's going down. This night mode works really well. Uh, sun's going down. I've thrown a uh, hundred thousand casts. That's an exaggeration, but uh, close to it, it feels like. A uh, beautiful night. You can't really beat this. I'll take it. Uh, I see a bunch of little fish jumping, but nothing big. So uh, I'm going to go back, get a bite to eat. Hey, if you like this episode, make sure to hit like, subscribe so you can come hang out with the gang next time. Join the gang. Come hang out with me next time. Uh, I appreciate you watching a lot, and I'll check you in the next one. Ah.